Hello, it's September 25th, Sunday. I got back yesterday from my trip. So I thought I might try to pop in and do a quick video on my trip and most importantly, what did I buy on my trip? So, um, so anyway, I left last, a week ago Saturday. I flew from New York to London. We arrived in London early Sunday morning. <clears throat> we stayed at the Ham Yard Hotel. It was what I would call an interesting time for one to be in London because of the, um, the death of the Queen and the day of her funeral was Monday. So we arrived Sunday, the funeral was Monday. So um, things in London I, were obviously different than they would normally be, but um, anyway, so we arrived, we went to the hotel, the room wasn't ready yet, it was still early, <clears throat> and we ended up, we grabbed breakfast at the hotel. So I tell you, we stayed at the Ham Yard Hotel, which was lovely. I guess it's in Soho. Um, I don't know that that's a neighborhood I would stay in again, but I loved the hotel. So maybe I would just because I really loved the hotel. But anyway, um, it had a very good bar, lovely cocktails. Um, our room was very, very nice. The service was very nice. I liked it a lot. Um, and also I'll say one of my favorite meals, we had lunch at a restaurant right around the corner called Bocco di Lupo or something, Italian restaurant. Interestingly, we had walked by it, noticed it, looked cute. Not sure we would have gone there, because you know, a lot of restaurants look cute and you know, we really, whatever, we had already had all of our dinner reservations made. But um, another friend of mine had been to London over the summer and she had recommended that place. So we ended up going for lunch and it was so delicious. But anyway, we were in London for Sunday through Wednesday. So Sunday we kind of walked around. You know, we didn't really do that much. We were exhausted. First day you get there. And then Monday, obviously there wasn't as much to do because it was the day of the Queen's funeral. It was a bank holiday. Um, so not as much was open as would normally have been open. <clears throat> so we, um, we had spa appointments at the hotel. I had a really good massage. Sandy also had a massage. Hers was not so good, but mine was amazing. Um, but anywho, we did not do a lot of shopping in London be for two reasons. One, we were going to Paris and I knew the options in Paris would be really good, but also, um, <clears throat> everything I priced out that I looked at in London was not really a lot less expensive than I could get it here. And London is no longer doing, um, refunds of VAT. Although there was just something in the news in the last day or two that now they're going to start doing it again, at least for American tourists. But, um, so with no VAT refund and no real like discount in price, it just didn't seem worth it to buy anything in London. Um, so I bought very small things in London. So we don't really need to go over those because those are the least important things in terms of what I bought. But we took the Eurostar on Wednesday to Paris. We stayed at the, at the Plaza Athene which is the Dorchester Collection Hotel. Now, I love the Beverly Hills Hotel, which is also a Dorchester Collection Hotel, and I've stayed at the Beverly Hills Hotel many times, so I really wanted to stay at, at the Plaza Athene, which was very, 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 very nice, but I don't think I would stay there again. I, um, the, I mean, the location in terms of shopping and like tourism spots and sites and views was really good. It is very, very expensive, and I don't really, I mean, the room was nice, it was fine. It was, it was very nice, but was not worth the price to me. But also, more importantly for me, the common area, there's not a lot of space to just like hang around. Like, there was one little, like when you walk into the hotel, kind of lobby area with some seating, but not a lot of seating. And then when you walk in to the right, there's a long kind of gallery of seating, but that's for like, I mean, sitting and eating and drinking. Um, and the other thing is the bar, which I love a hotel bar. Like one of my favorite things is a hotel bar, like to belly up to a hotel bar and have a cocktail. And we did that one night. The hotel bar did not open till six, which I just find late because I like to sometimes start cocktail hour a little earlier than that. 
but also they took what was once a beautifully classic hotel bar and kind of like unst unst it out. I, if I can, I'll insert a picture here, but it was like, I don't know, they put these like, they put this blue, um, these blue like, this fabric on the ceiling. They just did all this stuff that you could see spots of a very classic bar, but they tried to make it more, I don't know if they're trying to cater to a younger crowd or not. I mean, I didn't really see a younger crowd in this hotel, so I'm not sure why you would want to do that in this bar, but anyway. But also, even at six o'clock when we were there, the music was a little clubby and a little louder than I personally would have wanted it. So anyway, that's that. But the most important thing that I wanted to talk to you about on this trip was the shopping in Paris. So, the prices, there were a lot of things that were like half what I might pay here. And plus, you know, I also was going to get tax back. So, without further ado, let's look at what I bought. So, the first day, the one of the first spots I went, so we got there, the shopping in general, like, a lot of places have wines. So we tr we tried to go to the Shell, the Chanel on the Avenue Montagna. And there was no line to get in, but once we got in, we were told it'll be at least an hour and a half before somebody can even help you. So I'm like, and so can you like can we leave and come back? No, you have to be here. So that was annoying. So we decided to leave cuz I didn't want to waste an hour and a half just sitting like you know, not having anybody even, you can't even really look at anything because nobody's there to help you look at anything. So I said, well, what, if we came first thing tomorrow morning, would that be better? She said, yes. She said, we open at 10, come at 940. <laughs> so we did. Um, we went the next day, but let me back up. So we walked up and down the Avenue Montagna. We popped into a few stores. Um, I was on the hunt for, in Bottega, either a padded cassette bag or another bag which they did not have. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I can't remember, but anyway, they had the padded cassette bag and they had like, I mean, a beautiful rainbow of colors. And I hemmed and hawed because they have some really nice, um, they have some really nice like tan kind of colors, but I opted for, the bright green. So I had a few, like a few years ago, I had bought the cassette bag, the padded cassette bag in turquoise, but the one that has the gold, the heavy gold chains on it. And I mean, those chains are heavy to carry. So I sold that. And um, this one is like nice and lightweight. And hold on, there's something in here, which we will review later. But um, anywho, this is the padded cassette bag. It was, I don't remember how much it was, but it was, um, I want to say, like at least $1,000 less than I would have bought it for in the U.S. So, it's very lovely. Look at the color. Beautiful. Okay. Then, um, okay, then Chanel the next day. So, we arrived at 940. They, of course, opened the doors 10 or 15 minutes late, so we were waiting for like 35 minutes. Um, then we got in, they said, you can walk around, a salesperson will come find you, which she did about 10 or 15 minutes later. And um, I tried on a bunch of shoes, and that was really it. Like, I didn't really see anything else I wanted or felt that I needed. Um, so, and actually I did buy one other little thing. But I bought two pairs of shoes. Okay. So the first pair of shoes I bought were the classic ballet flats in pink with the black cap toe. Um, you know, typically I'm a 39 and a half, but for some reason this go around I needed a 40. You never know what the sizing. That's the problem is you really have to try it on. But look at this beautiful pink. Um, so I got these. Then I got this black patent kitten heel. Um, which if you look closely, 
like it has a cap toe, but it's it's all the same color. It's just you can kind of see the layer there. But I also like it, you know, it sits high up on the, um, I don't know what you would call that, but like above your toes. So it's like, it's kind of a cooler version of, you know, like if this had come down like further, it would kind of give a different look. So I got, those were the shoes I got. And then I like um, in my current bag, like as a wallet, I use like one of these little pouches. So I was like, what little pouches do you have? And I've got a new pouch in here. So let's see. Um, uh, while I'm doing this, I will also say the lines at YSL were long. The lines at Goyard were very long. The lines at Louis Vuitton were long, and the lines at Dior were long. Um, but here, I got this little pouch in like this kind of army green color, which I really like. Yeah. Okay, that's what I got at Chanel. Then, okay, the other thing I had specifically in mind, also one of the things I had done before I went is I screenshotted, um, things I wanted to buy, like, so I screenshotted so I'd know what the US price was for something. Um, Cause you know, I'm like, why buy it there if I can get it here for the, like why lug it all around for no reason. And one of, so basically the Bottega bag was on the list. The shoes from Chanel weren't, but like, you know, shoes. Shoes in general were, but I didn't have any specific ones in mind really. Um, I had some Mew Mew bags in mind. The Mew Mew model loss, like, it's kind of like a hobo style bag that I thought was super cute, but when I tried it on, it's not for me. Like the, you can only kind of hand carry it. So I did not get that. Um, but I had seen this Dior necklace, like a thin Dior necklace um, that says we, you know, yes in French. Um, and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a lovely memento of the trip? And so we went to Printemps um, one of the days, which was a good option because it has a lot of the, you know, the high-end brands that you might want to go to, and the lines are not as long there. It was less crowded. When we went into Prada there, one of the um, salespeople, he told us, and it's right near Galler the Galleries Lafayette, he told us that um, more local people come there because Galleries Lafayette is also very, very busy. Um, so it was a good option. But anyway, I went to the Dior there and I got this little necklace, this lovely little memento of my trip. So let's see, make sure it's focusing. I hope it's focusing. But it's just a little gold necklace and it says we. It's rose gold actually. So that I'm very excited about. And then, okay, the other thing is I had seen on, there's this person, she has a blog and she has an Instagram, it's called Habitually Chic. She actually puts out this very useful Paris travel guide. And um, anyway, she had posted on Instagram recently about Max Mara. Now Max Mara of all the places had the best prices. I mean, it's literally half. Everything else I was like maybe, you know, 30% off, 40% off, but this was like a good 50% off. Um, and that was probably even before I get the VAT back. So it's, it was a really good price. So anyway, I had gone in, I had gone and I had said to my friend Sandy, I'm like, whatever I buy, I am not allowed to buy any coats. She was like, okay. Then, what do I do? I buy a coat. So I actually walked into Max Mara because Sandy was in there trying stuff on and she wanted us to like look and see what she was trying on. And um, as I walked in, like right in front of me was this coat. And I just loved it so much. 
and I got it. So I've got a really, one of my chores in the next week or two has to be to clean out the coat closet, but I'll try it on because you can't really appreciate it here. But it's from the Max Mara Atelier, which is I think like a handmade, I think it's handmade collection. Anyway, let me, hold on. Let me take off the sweatshirt. Okay, and then pardon the socks and everything, but I'm in my athletic apparel. But here we go. So it's got these beautiful sleeves, big pockets. I just love this coat so much. So there we go. That is the Max Mara coat, which I got for literally, literally half off what you would pay for here in the United States. Um, and that was really it. I mean, not that that's not a lot, it is. But um, I guess the only other thing is the, um, so one thing I didn't realize, where's this thing? Is at the Charles de Gaulle airport. So they have all sorts of great duty free shops. However, your gate matters <laughs> because like I was in gate area M, my friend Nicole was in gate area K and my friend Sandy was in gate area L. Now my gate area had no Chanel, so I could not go to Chanel's duty free. Um, actually I did buy one other thing. And also duty free, hold on. Here it is. Okay, so um, anyway, the duty free shopping I did, like if there had been a Chanel I would have gone in. But other than that, I went into Celine because I wanted a pair, a new, like a new pair of Celine sunglasses. So here they are, basic, like basic, not basic, but like classic Celine black sunglasses. There we go. Um, so I got those. And then in duty, in the whole duty free area where like, you know, all the cosmetics and food stuff, like foods and like whatever are there. Um, hold on, let me cut this open. Okay, I stocked up on my favorite mascara, which I got three of them, which is the Lancome Monsieur Big. Then I got, I like the Lancome um, eye makeup remover. So I got this, the Lancome eye makeup remover. And then lastly, um, I used to wear Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. And recently I've been thinking I might like to wear it again, but I didn't have it anymore. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to get it basically at a discount at duty free. So that, that is the end of my shopping escapades. Now, my job is I have to, I've pretty much unpacked everything. My suitcases are put away. Well, I've unpacked everything, but I haven't put everything away. So I have laundry in the washer and dryer that I need to rotate. And then I've got to now put all this stuff away. Mess, mess, mess. Um, and I have stuff all over my bed that needs to be like, oh, we're not focusing. That needs to be like rehung up and whatnot. So yeah, that's it. And by the way, I packed, oh my God, I packed, I brought two suitcases. I brought a, I brought a large roller bag and a small roller bag. And in one of the bags I folded, I have this like expandable Longchamp bag. So that I did not put anything in. So coming back, I jammed both of those suitcases and the Longchamp bag at its biggest was filled. So that's basically the way I did all of this. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was a fabulous trip. Um, it was, I think lessons learned. Next time I'm gonna go to one destination, not two because it really takes away like having to pack, like pack up a hotel room and start over again. And also, even though like it's a quick train ride, you know, it takes up the better part of a day. Like to get up, get to the train station, you know, pack, get to the train station, get there, check in again, get settled. You know, it's just kind of like, 
I think next time I'm gonna go somewhere for longer. And I'd really like to spend more time, I'd actually like to spend more time in both London and Paris, but really I'd like to spend more time in Paris. Oh, I did go to the, um, the museum, the Arts Decoratifs Museum, and saw the Chaparelli exhibit, which was amazing. I'm glad I got to do that, but I didn't really get to do as much other cultural stuff because, you know, who can squeeze it all in? So I'd really like to go to some other museums and explore some other neighborhoods. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you have a good one. Bye. Good morning. It's Monday, September 26th. I'm off to the work, off to the work, off to work for the first time in over a week. Um, so I thought I would just pop in and show you the getup of the day, which is, this is Chanel. I have on a trusty old cost sweater. I think these are frame jeans and Tibby shoes and a Dior, <clears throat> a matte navy blue, navy blue lady Dior bag. So that's that. How can we see it with all this light in the background? Hold the phone, chicken bone. Let's try this again. It might be better with that light off. I don't know if it is or not, but here it is. So this is the get up. Um, I have a little bit of sore throat. I took a COVID test just in case, which was negative. Um, and yeah, off to work. Back to reality, here I go. Um, yeah, I didn't really do anything yesterday. I got my nails done. Yeah, I got groceries delivered. I made dinner. I watched a little TV. You know, that's it. Relaxing. Made myself stay up till like 9 or 9.30 because I'm still in a weird time zone. And I've actually slept pretty well the last couple nights since I've been home, which is nice. But that's it. Happy Monday. See you soon. Bye. This is a little <laughs> low. I need a higher thing so I don't have to hold it. Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 28th. You can hear in my voice that I'm not feeling great. I have COVID. So unfortunately, that seems to be the souvenir that I brought back from Paris <laughs> that I didn't want. Um... So, I've been stuck in my apartment for the last two days, which is very unfortunate. Um, but, you know, not the end of the world. But I'm like, I'm, I want to get out. <laughs> um, so, I'm working from home. I actually feel a little better today than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I was hoping that that would be the worst of it, and then I would start to feel better, but I wasn't sure. And so far, it seems like that might be the case. I basically have what feels like a really bad cold, like I'm congested, like a chest cold, a little bit of coughing, and um, <clears throat> yesterday I had chills and like some off and on very like low grade fevers. So um, anyway, that's what's happening with me. So unfortunately there's no fun outfits to be shown because <laughs> I am at home. I showered today, that's as much as it's gonna happen. Um, yeah. But I watched, I've been watching um, some really good shows. One is called The Sinner, um, which stars Bill Pullman as a detective. And I'm in season two, and I, I think each season is independent of each other, other than, you know, he's like the common, you know, he's the character that's always in it. But like each one is a different kind of mystery. But I watched the first season, and frankly, I don't really remember it. I did thumbs up it on Netflix, so I must have liked it. But um, when I was looking through there, I was like, oh, this looks good. And I'm like, I've watched this. I've watched the first season. So anyway, I'm watching the second season. It's very good. Also, there's a British show called The Split, which is about a, um, a family law firm that um, basically they represent people, usually for divorces. And um, there were two seasons of that, which haven't, I, ha I mean, were like a couple years old. I don't think there had been a new season since like 2020. And then it came to my attention that there's a now a third season. So I watched four episodes last night. It's so good. Um, I love that show. And sadly, I only have two episodes left. So it's a really big bummer. But this is what we do when we're stuck at home. 
but I'm thinking today after my work day is over I may um, try to organize my sweater area of my closet one of the things I did like before I went um, on my vacation <coughs> I feel like closet organization and clean out has to be in like fits and spurts because otherwise it would be like a whole multi-day endeavor but I organized all my jeans. So I literally tried on every single pair of jeans that I own. And now I have them by, like, um, by style. Like, these are wide legs. These are, like, fringy bottoms. These are straight legs. These are a little, like, um, you know, kick flare kind of. So, and then these are kind of non jean jeans, leather and white and stuff like that. So anyway, I organized all that, but then look at the mess that is all my sweaters. So I feel like I have to go through these because I definitely don't wear all of them. And so I need to pull all of them out and figure out what do I really need? Cause when you have them like that, it's very hard to know what you have. Like it's a mess. So that's going to be a project which may or may not happen while I'm stuck at home in the next day or two. Um, yeah. I guess that's it. I don't really have anything that exciting to say. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll, it's like, is it 8.30? Yeah, I think it's 8.30. It's 8.30. I, um, I've already done a little work, but I will, I think I will get back to work. And maybe also I will actually put this together and get it on YouTube in my next couple days at home. Bye.